Well, you guys, I'm back. That's right, I moved back to California. A lot of you guys know that for the past two years, I've been living up in Seattle and I decided it was time to get back to LA and I will explain to you guys why I chose to live here again. California's gotten a lot of bad press the last couple of years. <laughs> Some of the most clicked on stories on KTLA.com are about people leaving California. Oh, you get taxed for breathing here. Rising taxes on rampant crime. We've told you about people getting fed up and moving to Arizona, that people are just fed up with crime. California is losing higher income households. Leaving, quote, communist California. So why the heck am I going back? You might wonder. Let's get into it. Okay, number one, I feel kind of cringe saying this because it's so cliche and obvious, but it's true. The weather is a big reason I decided to move back here. It's a game changer. I love living somewhere where it's sunny every day. I love it. I really don't care about the seasons. Of course, when I'm filming the part talking about the weather clip though, it's like a little bit cloudy. I'm telling you five miles inland and it's sunny as ever. It's the same day. I've always loved the weather here and found it really motivating. It just puts me in a good mood. I never got sick of the sun once when I lived here. And it was something I really missed, honestly, when I lived in Seattle. Okay, but it actually is more than just the pleasantness of the sun being out every day. It's actually a practical thing as well. I tend to get a lot of video shots outside and I found it to be so much harder when I lived in Seattle because if it's raining really hard, you can't really film outside. Like it will damage your equipment. <laughs> it's also just kind of miserable to do. It being sunny here all the time makes it so much easier to get those video shots outside that I'm always wanting to get. Especially because I do a lot of car related videos. Those are almost always like completely shot outside, of course. It's a lot easier in LA than in somewhere like Seattle or even like New York. In the winter, it was really hard to make videos. The sun sets around 4.30, so it's really getting dark at like 3 p.m. I also didn't really love the look of the videos I filmed in Seattle. I like when my videos are like sunnier looking and like I love the videos I've shot in Palm Springs. Some of the ones I shot in Seattle, I was just like, oh, it's just like very gray and very blah. Overall, the weather in California just makes me more productive and I just prefer it. I really enjoy it. Reason number two is because this is where most of my family now and a lot of my closest friends live. In the last two years, my parents actually moved to Palm Springs full time, sold their place in Seattle and they are full time California residents. And my sister and her boyfriend also bought a place in Palm Springs and are living there half of the year. And if you're not familiar, Palm Springs is like a two to three hour drive from LA. So honestly, Seattle doesn't even have much of my family anymore, pretty much just my brother. For me, that was a huge draw of being in Seattle was being able to actually see my family more often. But now that they're in California, like that is something I always wanted to happen back when I lived here before, but just never thought it actually would. And now that it has, it's, it is mind blowing. Like it's so cool that I could drive and go see them pretty much whenever. Like let's be real, I'll probably not do that that often, but I have the option. It really does make California feel more homey that more of my family is here and I love that. And also most of my friends are here. I mean, I spent eight years living here and I now live walking distance to one of my best friends that lives here. Like I can walk to her place in 10 minutes. Around the time I was leaving, some other friends had left before me and it really kind of made me feel like everyone was leaving when in reality like two people left that's it and since that time even more people have moved in that i know and haven't lived near in years so yes people leave california but what they don't tell you is just as many people are moving here the next reason i moved back is because it's so much easier to live a really healthy lifestyle here it is so easy to be healthy here i swear it's almost effortless there is amazing healthy food options everywhere because it's so sunny it's just like you want to get out and move you can always do stuff outside. You can go paddleboarding, play tennis, any time of the year. And people do, like I did last time I lived here, I'd go on hikes, all this stuff, because it's always nice out. Like you just end up moving a lot more and it's so much healthier for you. Not to mention, it's just the culture here. Like all my friends go to workout classes and they're like, oh, wanna come to this run club, wanna do this and that. And it rubs off on you too. I'm just a healthier person when I live here. I eat healthier, I work out more, I go on more walks. Being able to be active outside so often is just a huge quality of life boost to me. I really love it. Funny that people don't think of LA as an outdoorsy city because there's not a lot of actual wilderness like trees and such but there is so much to do outside and you can always do it so people are like biking you can bike at the beach you can play volleyball all this stuff all these hikes there's so much stuff that you can do outside year-round pretty much any day you want and I love that 
and I'm fully taking advantage. Another thing that drew me back to LA was being back where more creators are. Since moving back here to LA, I've already been invited to like five different creator-oriented events. And it's nice to be back in the mix and around that kind of thing. If you wanna learn and grow in the industry that you're in, whatever it is, it is so helpful to be where the people are. There's just something to be said for those casual conversations you have with people in person where you learn that one tidbit of information that just changes everything. I know if I hadn't lived in LA before, I wouldn't have learned about the fact that you can add two ads to a YouTube video. I learned that in person. I ended up making a YouTube video about it and it got 10 million views. I would have never learned that had I not lived here and been around people that are doing what I'm doing. Of course, you don't need to live in LA to be a creator, but it is really helpful. And honestly, it's just more fun. I felt kind of isolated in Seattle. Like no one did what I did. No one really got it. And here, so many people have the same lifestyle. They're free at the same time. They want to collaborate, things like that. And it's nice. And the last reason is because living in California aligns the best with my future goals. So you guys know I was looking at living in New York and I really realized that that would just set me back from some things I wanna do. I wanna buy a house that I own and can renovate and really make my own and actually live in. And moving to New York and paying like five grand a month in rent would really just set me back, I realized. I would probably have fun for a couple years, but at the end, what would I have to show for it? You know, like pretty much am ready to buy now, so I wanna be able to be out here and look. No shade to New York, I think it's an amazing city, but where I wanna be in five years is not there, so I'm okay with just visiting. I think you get a better quality of life here in California. Even though it is expensive in its own right, it's a lot cheaper than New York. Basically what it comes down to, I value the things that California has to offer more than the tax dollars I would save. I'll be making a lot less money at the end of this year than last year, so that was a good time to live in a no income tax state. Now I don't really care as much. For me, like it's where most of the people I wanna be around are in terms of both creators and friends and family. And this city really does have so much to offer. I mean, it is the second biggest city in America. So it's always getting like the newest of the new stuff. And I love being in the know of that. It's fun and it's good to make videos about. I do get why a lot of people don't wanna live here. Yeah, the taxes are high. The cost of living is high. But with taxes, I've learned that they're always gonna get you somewhere. A lot of people that move to Texas realize that their property taxes are twice as expensive than in California. I even know someone who sold their house and moved back to Washington. That's the thing with taxes, they always get you somewhere. In Washington, I had to pay this employment, city tax, I don't even remember what it was, but I was not expecting that. You're just gonna have to pay taxes, okay? Like, in my opinion, it's just not worth living somewhere that you're eh about just to save in taxes when you could live somewhere that you love. But that's just me, okay? But I am excited to be back. There's so much cool stuff to make videos about here. So that is gonna be it for today. That is why I moved back. I hope that you enjoyed my explanation. If you're ever thinking of moving to LA or something, maybe it gave you some insight. And that's gonna be it for this video. Bye.